guys, my name is Gwyneth James Girl and welcome to the first video in the Chic Boutique update of Sims Free Play. This update came out on the 17th of July 2018 and we have a ton of new things going on in this update. In this video we are going to concentrate on the Chic Boutique live event that we have got but first of all when you first update your game we have a new wall toggle feature which I think is amazing. Now you can view all walls of your Sims houses at any time. Simply tap on the new wall toggle button on the right of your screen in any of your Sims homes to cycle between the different views including traditional, interior walls on and all walls off. We'll check that out in a second. And then also we have interior windows feature which is something I am so excited for. I have wanted this for so long. So now we can have, as it says, wall, not walls, windows on interior walls. Amazing. Love that. Absolutely love that feature. So here we go. You've updated the game. You will get this new live event pop-up. We have 10 days to complete the Chic Boutique event. Everything you need to create an on-trend boutique clothing store. Collect craft items to unlock new prizes and create a fashion buzz. So this event is going to go the same as the previous live event that we have done. We have to collect arts and crafts items so it will take you through a tutorial of how to do this. First thing you have to do is to actually place the arts and crafts tables, the crafting stations, but most of us have probably done one of these events before and so we will have the crafting stations already down. If you haven't got them down they're possibly in your inventory or if you've never done a live event before they will be I will just show you if you go into your home store you have event items tab there and that is where they will be once we have got them we need to start collecting simple as let's bring someone over lots of my sims are actually in a pregnancy event at the moment so this is going to be tricky to get things done so I'm gone we need to bring over actually let's bring over a few more just to get an extra little boost at the start of this what I recommend you got the four candle stations here and the first time you use it you get uh, 50 candles in 23 seconds so I recommend just doing that with all of the crafting stations just gives you a little boost how much difference it makes in the long run probably not a great deal but I just like to make sure that I do that at the start. They finished collecting the candles, so we can go ahead and collect them. And here we go. Here is our chic boutique kind of tab with everything going on. So we can look, take a look at the prizes. So I'm sure by now that we have all seen how this works out. We have the daily goals at the on one of the tabs at the top and then we have our progress bar. The daily goals are definitely something you want to be coming in and doing. I would say like more so for the constructor coins than anything else. Like that complete all daily goals is 20. So you definitely want to be coming in for that. Let's check out the prizes. So we've got the boutique wallpapers and floors which the that wall is wow that's amazing then we've got round display pedestals which is the next prize square display pedestals dazzling partitions and lights those partitions are nice chic sign and wall mirrors they look nice wall plants and floor mirrors floor plants and knitwear okay so these are like the stands bag display and dress coat Oh, frill tops and leather pants. I'm excited for these. These I saw these on the trailer. Love, love those frill tops and leather pants. That red one just, ugh, oh, amazing. And then we've got maxi dresses. Okay, so there are the clothes. And then, oh, Chic Boutique, the grand prize. Complete your boutique store with change rooms, a reception desk, stylish round sofa, new walls and floors, decorative items, and of course, display mannequins. So once you get all of the other prizes, you'll be able to unlock this Chic Boutique last prize, which is definitely, definitely something I would say you want to be doing. Let's just scroll along the progress bar here and yeah so you can see there the chic boutique is the last prize oh that's task complete now we need to restock a crafting station so let's click on and restock for two uses it takes 10 seconds i'm going to do it with all of the stations there quickly so they can restock those there we go that is task complete they've restocked a crafting station 
So now it wants us to buy the boutique wallpaper and floors pack. So in the top left of your screen, you will have the, well, I haven't got it shown because you can see that I'm doing a pregnancy event, so I've got a little different circle. If you're not doing a pregnancy event or any other event, you'll have just the chic boutique little circle there tabbed that you can go into to get all of the information. But as you can see with mine, I had to click on it to open it. You can see the pregnancy tab and the chic boutique one. Obviously we want to go into the Sheet Boutique, so we'll just go ahead and click that. And once we're here, as you can see that we've unlocked the Boutique Wallpapers and Floors. That costs 50 candles. We'll go ahead and buy that for 50 candles. Congratulations, it's in the Walls and Floors section of the Home Store. That's really nice, I really like that wall. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Oh, and we've got a little prize there in the Daily Goals. We'll go ahead and click that. There we go, that's task complete. Oh, now we need to use a coin flower patch. So let's just get these started. So just a little tip, you, I would say that you want to do the shortest one. So it's 250 candles for two hours and 30 minutes. This is the one I always do. Obviously, if you can't get on the game that often, don't do that one. But this is the one that I think will give you more arts and crafts items. Do the shortest one. So I'm just going to set these up for two hours and 30 minutes, collecting candles. And then we'll go and buy the coin flower patch. So in the home store, and then in if you go in the event items tab, it will be in there. We can get a free coin flower patch. We'll place that, and then we need to pull someone over. Can seniors can do it, right? Let's pull a senior over, and you can get a free first spin. You can see that we can we can spin me the mega spin for twenty five sp. I've done it once, I think. Personally, I just don't think it's worth it. Unless you've got a megaton of SP, don't think it's worth it. Use the normal spin plant, and the first one is free. Let's see if we can get... Wouldn't it be good if we could get, like, 125 just straight off the... Ooh! No. No, okay, we got the worst one. Fair enough, we got one constructor coin. Just my luck. You can see future times that you spin the spin plant, it's going to cost 450 candles. So candles are very important. You need to collect candles throughout the whole event, really, so you can get enough constructor coins. There we go. Task complete on that. Now check out the daily goals. So we've already kind of seen them, but we'll just go into them. We, oh, we have completed one. Use a spin plant. Definitely the daily goals or something you want to make sure that you are doing. That is task complete. Now we need to collect bonuses. So these bonuses I think are really important. And every when your sims are collecting arts and crafts, oh, that's task complete. Continue collecting items. Okay, so these bonuses, when your sims are collecting any arts and crafts, every so often they'll get bonuses, and but it reaches a limit. So with the Two hours 30, there's a limit of 10 bonuses that they can carry. I tend to try to come into the game every 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or so, like throughout the whole day, like every 20 minutes I come into the game and collect the bonuses because those bonuses really, really do add up, I feel. And obviously, if you know, if you can't get on the game, you can't get on the game. But that's kind of the nature of these live events, that they are very time consuming and you really do need to come on the game as often as possible. I've forgotten how cute these stations are. How nice is that? Um, yeah, you just have to come on the game as often as you can. Obviously, to set them doing the task again once they've completed it. But for me, sort of like more importantly, is to come and collect the bonuses because they collect an awful lot of bonuses. So definitely, it's just it's just the like I say, it's just the nature of the event. I'm not sure how I'm going to manage this because you can see I'm still doing a pregnancy event and I need. There's lots of sims that are involved in my pregnancy event and like see because I've got eight sims at the moment planning a baby budget. So I've got eight sims involved in that and I've also got a pregnant sim that can't do anything. So that's like nine sims taken away already. Like quite often there's support tasks, you need 13 sims for things. And then we've got, so what, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's thirteen stations all in all at the moment i'm only using the candles so that's okay i haven't unlocked the other ones but i need 13 sims to be doing this event that's difficult to do a pregnancy event and this oh sim free play just don't want us to have a life do they but <laughs> they want us to spend all our time on the game we can take a proper look at these prizes actually because we can magnify glass them so let's just take a little look so the round display pedestals 
they're nice. I mean, these things are nice. They're the square ones. They're nice. It, all the kind of the sheet boutique stuff. In fact, no, actually, these glass partitions are really nice. <laughs> actually, I really, really like them. It's kind of, it's the clothes that I am more excited for, to be honest. Although, these are, they are really stepping up their game. Who would agree that, like, Sims Replay is really, really stepping up their game at the moment with the furniture items and things and yeah, just absolutely love it. These wall planters, are they wall planters? Yeah, wall plants, they're amazing. I love them. And then we've got floor plants and knitwear. Beautiful potted plants and stylish knitwear for your customers. I would like to know, like, I wonder how we're going to interact with these items. Like, are we going to be able to, like, I'd love it if we could take things off and, like, go and actually try them on. Maybe that's asking too much. We've got a bag display and dress racks. Again, these are nice. Coats and shoe displays. I like the shoe displays, yeah. They're pretty cool. It's these that I want. I can't wait for these. Full tops and leather pants. So the red one was in the trailer. And I just can't wait. The shoes, mm, I mean, okay, yeah, they're alright, I suppose. But definitely can't wait for those. And then we've got the maxi dresses, which are pretty fancy. Very fancy, actually. And the shoes, actually, they're quite nice as well. And then the grand prize is this chic boutique where if we unlock, if we claim all the other prizes, we will unlock this. So we get the changing rooms in two different colours. They're like reception desk in two different colours. Little round sofa. That's nice. That's really nice. Mannequins. Oh, I'm so excited to have mannequins. That's amazing. And then, oh, look at that floor. The floor and what? Oh, my goodness. That's, I love that one even more than the one that we've already won. They are very, very nice. I'm looking forward to having those items. And obviously, we've got the one that we already had, the boutique wallpaper and floors. They're nice. But the pinker one, the pinky grey ones, I think are really nice. Let's just collect these bonuses again. And so, yeah, that is the event. I am really looking forward to it. It is a time-consuming thing. There's no doubt about it, these live events. I know a lot of simmers do kind of complain about this arts and crafts collecting and people are like, oh, not another one. But, I mean, honestly, I quite like it. I don't mind it at all. I quite like it. Uh, probably I like it because I'm able to get on the game. If I wasn't able to get on the game, it would probably annoy me, <laughs> these events, to be honest. But, yeah, I really, really like it. In terms of tips, definitely make sure you're completing your daily goals so you can see them in here. Make sure that you, you can see that by completing all the daily goals you get 20 constructor coins. They That will become an invaluable, well it always has been to me anyway, towards the end of the event. Those extra constructor coins that I've managed to get doing all my daily goals have really helped me. And in terms of other tips, I would say absolutely, like, you've really got to think about when you can next get on the game. Always the shorter task is the best one to do, but like I said, obviously, if you're in work, school, whatever you're doing that you can't access the game, do the longer task. If you're going to sleep, like, obviously, we can't collect bonuses in our sleep. Yeah, so, like, before you go to sleep, put the long task on, the eight and a half hours for the candles. I can't quite remember what it is for the other arts and crafts stations. But yeah, the eight and a half hour one for the candles. And then, you know, they're collecting candles whilst you sleep. You've really got to think about when you can next get on the game. And really do try and get on as often as you can to collect the bonuses. And that is really the only, the major tip that I can give you. Get on the game. <laughs> it really is kind of that simple, to be quite honest. You can actually also hire, um, what's her name? La Laura Craft. Where is she? Um, is she? Oh, here she is. Down at the front of at the front of every house, there's a little egg frame, and you can hire Laura. Yeah, Laura Craft. She is four ninety nine. I'm assuming that is you know in whatever currency you have, it's four ninety nine. I don't know. Anyone who's used her before, let me know. I've never bought her. I don't know whether it's particularly worth it. If you have bought her, let me know if it is worth it down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. There is a little glitch. I think at the moment. So I've heard lots of simmers are complaining about Laura that she's not working. So maybe just hold off on that to be honest. But that is the event. I hope you managed to complete it. Let me know what you think down below of this update, of this event, of live events in general. Oh, I know lots of people don't like them, but let me know what you do think. Also, actually, let me know like kind of what you want in the Sims Free Play. I think that an amazing update would be like um, a zoo or a vet 
something oh no actually i've just this has just come to me um like a safari update oh my goodness imagine a safari update so you know how we have uh, like deer spring falls that's a nice little camp area like something like that but it's a safari and you sim can go over there like and get in a jeep and go around and the, you can then you can see like elephants and giraffes oh my goodness imagine sims we play with elephants and giraffes and lions that would be amazing oh that would be amazing i would love that i don't know oh i've just gone all off on one thinking about how cool that update would actually be i would absolutely love that update let me know <laughs> what kind of what update you would like or just generally what sort of things you would like to see in sims free play because i feel like they're really doing well at the moment with the things that they are providing us with you're really stepping up their game with things i feel thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and i will see you soon for another video bye